This is basically a prerequisite task to uh, finding oil leaks on your truck. Um, you do not want to go looking under the truck before you go looking on top of the truck because it can yield some very frustrating results. This intake spider has to come out before you can gain access to clean the valley. All right, I'll give you a quick couple tips. You disconnect the green from the intake over there instead of trying to disconnect it from here. And likewise, the red, you disconnect from the uh, wastegate actuator. You leave this vacuum line on, that's hard to get on and off and there's no need. You can just flip this over here. You got two wire plugs, one here, one here. They both have a push button and you just push it and pull out and sometimes you have to push them in, push the button and then pull out. Down here. You can see the very offending oil spill that basically I just created. That's actually diesel. That all needs to be clean. Down below here needs to be clean. There's an area beneath. I can't show it to you because of the focus, but it's down below. You gotta go down there with rags and stuff it. Clean it out real nice with brake cleaner. You got full access now when you pull that spider, you can jimmy these wires out of your way and reach down back there with your hands and clean it. Alright, so I just want to show you guys, let's see if we can get this. Alright, see the area down there? So. I still have a modicum of moisture, but you'll notice the pocket, which is where the beam is pocket and then there's another pocket here that's not as clean uh, down there but this pocket area has to be clean and that area especially right where it outlets Let's see if I can show you the outlet there is the how do I show you that there's the outlet right there that area has got to be nice and clean so you know it's not originating up here. And uh, pro tip, Brake Clean brand Pro Series comes out faster and the tops don't break off and the bottle's bigger, which means you have more spray time before you need a new bottle. Very nice. I don't think I'll ever go back. Okay, a couple of tips for you. One of these right angle picks, a nice big one like this, a chunky one, is great for getting these boots on. Um, because getting those oriented, you'll find yourself jamming a finger in there, a screwdriver. And one of these bad boys, you just slip it in there and swipe it around and that thing will go right on. Um, those bolts are 11 millimeter, you need a deep socket. I use a half inch deep socket. Uh, it's the only way I can get them to, uh, well, other than an actual wrench, which could take a really long time. Uh, this is the first clamp you want to put on when you install it and the orange clamps down below they don't need to come out so you just disconnect the upper clamps on both of those that go up like this and like this into the uh, into the spider and uh, you know when you reinstall it just make sure they're oriented correctly or you'll lose boost um, let's see what else uh, don't damage these red and green lines make sure you hook them back up and uh, let's see, yeah, oh yeah, and make sure your wire plugs are on and don't lose that little uh, rubber dinghy. And then also while you're working over here, just remember you have a hot lead right there on your relay. And if you're like me and you have old pieces of rubber on there that's been there since the truck was made, uh, those bad boys are hot and they're exposed. And so you could cross over and touch that to ground and make a big shower of sparks and that's never fun. So be careful with that. And uh, yeah, so get it back together and I'm gonna go underneath the truck and see what I can find as far as leaks. This is basically a prerequisite task to uh, finding oil leaks on your truck. Um, you do not want to go looking under the truck before you go looking on top of the truck because it can yield some very frustrating results. It is better to make sure that the top sides of the truck is clean 
working your way down. Obviously you can clean the bottom all you want and it's still going to leak down more. I wish I had known this the day that I bought this truck. From front to back on the truck in the valley they call it, the valley in the middle of the engine, there are four pockets. There's a pocket all the way uh, towards the front of the truck, towards the license plate. That's underneath the high pressure oil pump. Uh, if you have oil there, uh, you'll have you'll be leaking out of the connections of the oil lines to the oil pump. You might be leaking out of the uh, seal where the high pressure pump mounts onto the front cover. Um, or uh, yeah, so those two places. And then the next one back, uh, you potentially would be leaking out actually the uh, the, the fuel filter bowl um, or the fuel filter housing. And uh, that could be deceiving you and making you think it's oil. But if it originates there, you could check the clarity, you could check the substance. Uh, what is it? What's it like? It could be diesel. Um, could be one of those connections going in. The next one back is going to be uh, the pocket is going to be below the, um, the charge air boots where it goes into the plenums in the top of the head. And uh, those can leak oil sometimes. Uh, not super common and not a lot of oil, but it can happen. And then the next one back is your turbo. So you have your O-rings on the top and bottom of the uh, turbo um, pedestal. And then if you have the stock turbo pedestal, there's also some other components that are associated with that that could be leaking oil. Um, so those are the places where oil could be coming from. You also can leak oil from the plenums themselves, which is basically just a cover that's got a hole in it for air, for charge air to go in. Those four positions, Remember all the air inside that uh, engine bay there is blowing towards the, um, towards the cab. So the oil is flowing in that direction. And so whatever position it starts from is the farthest away from the, the driver. That's usually the origin point of the leak. Uh, going back from there, there's other places to look, but this is the prerequisite before you look at anything under the truck. Um, oil dripping off of the drip catcher, you know, the drip catcher just focuses the oil into that one spot. It's kind of neat because you could hypothetically, you could put like a catch pan or something under there to catch all your oil drips for you. Um, but basically, uh, that is the design of this engine and, uh, you know, it, the oil goes out through a drain hole there and goes down the back of the engine onto the bell housing of the transmission and just goes all over everything. It's like an oil wash on everything. Um, you don't have to assume it's the rear main seal. It might not be the rear main seal. Uh, the oil loves to go right where the rear main seal is. And it's totally deceptive. Uh, so I wish you guys the best of luck with your uh, search, with your checks on your oil leaks, and I'm sure you will find it if you just keep cleaning it and wiping it and cleaning it, running it, wiping it, and inspecting it, you will eventually find the leak. And uh, chances are you will do a better job finding that leak than the mechanic that you want to take it to. Uh, mechanic is going to spend a limited amount of time. He's not going to, he's not going to clean it thoroughly. Um, there's just a lot missing with mechanics. They have to hurry up and get jobs done. So uh, good luck out there, all right?